Okay, we all have desires, okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going? My name is Sean, and today I wanna to talk to you about why is it important for us to put every other project on hold and to focus on the one thing, and that is get healthy, look good, and feel good from inside. We all have a desire in our life. Some of us, like myself, are single, and we like to attract a beautiful woman into our life. Some of us are in relationships that are causing friction and there's a lot of argument and tension going on. Some of us want to be financially free, make more money, travel. Some of us, uh, whatever, we all have desires, right? But the one thing that brings all these desires in, in, that has in common is how we feel about ourselves and our body, right? We all have insecurities. And those insecurities get magnified when we are out of shape. Now, I'm not saying the body is everything. I still have insecurities, and many other people who look like fitness models, they have a lot of mental issues, and their life is a total mess. <laughs> so I understand that. But we can't um, ignore the fact that when we look in the mirror, if we see a fat person, we feel like crap, and we don't want to talk to people. <laughs> and we don't want to make as much calls in our business and we don't want to get out there and do things and then we look in the mirror and we see a good-looking person <laughs> we feel happy and we want to love more people we want to express our love towards others and uh, etc so where am I going with this basically what I'm trying to tell you is that I believe that if you're struggling in an area of your life you need to let go of that struggle and focus on your health and body and I'm gonna show you how you can do it easily, and I'm gonna walk you through it. Now, um, the other day I was driving, and to my left-hand side, I see this guy driving this brand new, beautiful Corvette. And I don't know if you're a guy or not, but us guys have a thing with cars sometimes, and when you see a beautiful car, you can't miss it. So I look at this car and it's wow, it's like 10 times better than the car that I was driving. I'm just driving a Toyota, nothing fancy. But his car is a Corvette, beautiful car. And then I looked at him. And you know what I saw? <laughs> I saw my brother, but I saw a guy who is overweight in his mid-30. Now, I came to think he's probably a nice guy, you know, but I could, not I could not stop but judge him as someone who's lazy, eating poorly, unconscious, and probably is feeling lonely. You know, you can really si simply tell if someone is happy about their life or not just by looking at them, you know. And um, I, I, I got to say, I didn't feel like he's happy, although he had the nicest car. So some of us may have made a lot of success in our life. Maybe the finance is going well. Maybe we have a nice house. Maybe we have a nice car. But when we look in the mirror or when we put our clothes on, that, that belly hangs out. And you know what? When we go to our meetings and other people, we know what other people may be thinking of us. They're just saying, well, and, and especially if you're successful, they're going to hold our body against us. Well, you see, he doesn't even have self-discipline to lose fat. How is he qualified to lead our team? How is he qualified to get a raise? How is he qualified to teach me to better my business if he can't even take care of his own body? And in other situation, maybe we want to attract someone into our life and of course we have a lot of preferences. We want to attract someone who's healthy, look good, feel good, and likes their body and loves their body. And one of the you know they love their body is how they how much attention they pay to their body. But we can't approach these people or this person that we want to attract if you're out of shape. What am I saying? Unless you and I get ourselves in the best shape of our life and we feel good about our body, we're not able to get the things that we want and attract the relationship and the people that we want to have in our life. But if we do, make ourselves feel better about ourselves. You may not want to have a six-pack ab like I do. You may just want to lose five pounds, 10 pounds, get a little more toned, or you may just want to eat a little more clean. Whatever it is the best version for you, you deserve to do it. In fact, I demand that we have to do it because unless we do this, we're never going to be happy. Let me repeat this again. Unless we genuinely look at our health, our body, our eating habits, and we become honest, willing, and humble to say, listen, I don't know how to lose weight. 
I don't know how to eat properly. I don't know how to exercise so I don't feel bored and tired and enjoy my work. I don't know those things. How can I do it? And unless we get to that place, then we're never going to lose fat and we're never going to get to the part that we want. And then we're never able to succeed in our life and reach to our goals. And we're just never going to feel that joy and the peace of mind that we want to have. Now, I have another person that I'm working with, and she's a mother of three. Now, she, up till now, has been struggling with having this bad habit of drinking a glass or two of wine every day or every other day. Now, in her mind, it wasn't a big deal. In her mind, uh, at first, she was like, well, it's just a glass of wine. It doesn't hurt anything. But after a few weeks of exercising and doing this conscious fat loss method that I want to share with you, she started to not only stop her drinking habit, but became so much closer to her husband, became so much more loving towards her children, and her children became so much more um, inspired by her. So what am I saying is that not only when we change our body, we change how we feel about ourselves, our relationship, the people who are around us, they get to, we get to get closer to them. What that means is less argument, less fights in marriages, more compassion, more patience. And sure, we're not perfect. Sometimes we get angry, but we're going to get angry and impatient a lot less. So I invite you, if anything I said to you makes sense, you may be thinking, well, I don't know, Sean. I've tried everything. I've tried this diet. It didn't work. I have very poor genetics. I don't have the time. I don't have the money to buy healthy food. Whatever you think the problem is, I invite you to trust me on this. Suspend your disbelief and watch the next video because in this video, I'm going to give you one action that you can do starting today that is going to help you start feeling good about your body and health and start improving your body and more specifically, start losing fat. So go ahead, click the link below this video and watch the next video and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.